Right now, rapidly rising monkeypox cases are prompting Governor J.B. Pritzker to take action. He's declaring a state of emergency. As CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov tells us, the hope is it'll help curb the spread of the virus. Since July 23rd, the number of monkeypox cases in Chicago alone almost tripled in less than a week. The state's cases also skyrocketing quickly. It's the reason Governor J.B. Pritzker tweeted this, declaring a public health monkeypox emergency to expand the resources and coordination efforts of state agencies in hopes of getting the virus under control. I'm hoping it'll help with... Um, you know, A, funding, and, and B, really the big thing is going to be getting vaccine, vaccines out. Dr. Karen Kruger is an infectious disease expert at Northwestern Medicine. She backs the governor's move and says so far direct prolonged contact with an infected person is how it's spreading. Thus far, I haven't really seen uh, community transmission like that. It's really been people who have had a very close contact with somebody else. According to the city's website, there are currently 330 confirmed monkeypox cases in Chicago. The state's website reports a total of 520 cases throughout Illinois. It starts with flu-like symptoms and progresses to an outbreak of lesions like these, usually in a few days. Kissing, hugging, and sexual contact are the most common ways it spreads. It can also be spread um, if it is, you know, left on bed sheets or clothing or eating utensils, things like that. Um, and then those things are shared with another individual. She says catching it in the air, like being in a big crowd, is less likely but possible. But the majority of people are able to manage their symptoms at home and kind of just ride through the course. That's some good news. The bad news, she says those who get the virus are contagious for two to four weeks and should isolate. Typically, we're telling them for a minimum of 21 days to isolate. Um, so really to only be leaving the houses for emergent purposes or to go to doctor's visits. Men in the LGBTQ community are being hit especially hard right now. The smallpox vaccine is used for monkeypox, but the supply is strictly limited. The state of emergency could help put Illinois near the top of the vaccine distribution list. I also asked Dr. Kruger if we need another shutdown to slow the spread, and she does not see that happening. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe. Thank you, Dana.